this has to be the most dramatic moment or most dramatic game out of any esports games you had so far in the United Esports scene. For a bit of context, this game was a semi-final in the Asia Champions League with a prize bill of 100,000. They also playing in Malaysia. It's an offline tournament between the last Japanese team left and the team also from Malaysia. And this is the semi-final. Winner goes towards the grand final and can have a chance of winning 30,000 US dollar. And this was the last game in a best of five. They went all the way. Every single game was insanely close. And there's something incredibly dramatic happening um, at the end of this match. And I don't spoil it too much. I mean, you can already see the thumbnail a tiny bit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Who is going to be the first team to move in towards the grand final? Is it going to be Japan? Or is it going to be Malaysia? Going to be interesting. Again, only one team. The winner makes it to the grand finals. And the second, who the loser right now, they make it towards the end. We have a pause again. I saw someone raising its hand right there. And we're back in it. Issues have been resolved. The YouTube people don't even know how much of a struggle this tournament has been so far watching it. <laughs> if you had so many pauses and technical issues. But you know, it is what it is. Offline tournaments can always have issues. Especially since, uh, you know, hardware can always be a problem. So it's just something we have to get used to. It is totally normal. Froggy going for the last threat here. Stacking up the special specs. Are we level 4? No, that's quite a level 4. Almost though. Rebongs and the Squirtle dropping very low HP on top path. And we already have Hubachi top side with a Glaceon. Being very aggressive. And uh, this time do we have... Yeah, we have Surging Strikes again, right? For the side of Yemu. Got that Surging Strikes in. Aijun, now hitting level 4. Getting that Bliss Evolution done as well. And Haruta looking for level 5 soon to Yang. Stacking up his boost out take right now. Going in. Is he going to go aggressive? Doesn't look like he's going to be too aggressive. Just skills for these Itarias. And just get some safe experience in. The spot lane Espion, of course. Espion against Mew. Very common matchup right now. Um, I think Espion has still the advantage when it comes to last hitting. But it's quite close. It's just a bit more damage than Electro Boy. I mean, not just a bit more damage. It does <laughs> a lot more damage than Electro Boy. But I can still miss if you mess up. Super Saiyan going for the last hit right here. Doesn't quite get it. And now he might just go down. Now has the X speed. And the Sword Vest as well. Love his Sword Vest for the side of T2 in this game. Because of Espeon and Blastoise. But I mean, Yang is going to do a lot of damage at least. Super Saiyan is dropping low HP. And I think Super Saiyan is going to go down right here. First knockout of the game for MYS. For the home crowd team. It's actually, uh, it's the home crowd team against Japan. So it is a matchup for sure. Yang dropping low HP right here. It's going to go get close to level 7 now. Haruta. With that assault vest, I don't I don't know if I like this assault vest. I don't think it makes too much sense. It really doesn't. He's only really up against Espion and Blastoise. I mean it does stop some of the Espion poke, but I think other hit items would just get much more value. Much, much more value than this assault vest. They do for the Venusaur. Super Saiyan already bought path with that Trevenant. Not banned this game, so able to be picked for T2. Emo must level 7. He's going to get Rapid Spin done soon as well. And now the next Itaria spawn is here. Super Saiyan is looking for the Votemas just on the Itaria. I'm not sure how many they got right now. Yemo already level 8. And Haruta doesn't have Penitence yet. But he's just trying to fight. But he misses the Giga Drain, right? Goes the wrong direction right here. He gets snapbacked on. Looking for this last hit. Can he get it? I'm not sure if he got it. The fight is breaking out on bot path. Electro Ball ends on to Palace Vine. Boost out attack nicely. Bock Black to Fable. To make sure Rebonks doesn't take too much damage. Rhino Super Saiyan going in with another double bonk. Procking Espion's passive as well. Eggbombs are flying through. And Super Saiyan is going very aggressive right now. Has his passive up though. Can he keep procking those wood hammers? If he keeps doing damage. And yes he can. Trevenant just unkillable. Doing so much right now on the right side. And Glacian is able to get a knockout. Off the assist from the Trevenant. But it's not over yet. And we still have Espion up. And Espion can always get those last hits. Cybeam Psyshock doing incredibly single target damage. Looking for the Regis now, it's dropping low on HP. Hobachi against Mew as well. So Levin comes through, but Espion with the Psyshock is able to claim it for MOS. That is massive because they were losing this team fight already. I think Pillow's final does get taken down right now, but no, wait. High horsepower comes through. And MOS is actually still getting Trevenant as well. So they win the Regi Rock and they win the team fight. And now Yemu's level 9, and he's going to fully stack right here. Another 5 points go in. There's another point up there on the top left that he's going to pick up. And he's going to be very happy for this Blastoise. And he just keeps on scoring and scoring. Picks up more. There's, a comp <laughs> There's so many coins up here. And he should be fully stacked now. Maybe almost. I don't know if he's fully stacked. But yeah. Looks like he is. Because he's going to go for just experience now. This is huge for MYS. They're for sure the uh, 
ahead right now when it comes into this match with their Blastoise. But, I don't know, late game. Who wins late game? Glacier and Venusaur, of course. Insane late game Pokemon. Venusaur's already evolved now, so... Another threat for the side of T2. And we have someone invading on the right side. Is it Trevenant invading? Onto Shifu? I think it is. But it's still said he's ignoring him? I don't know. The, the mini-map, they're super... He just got ignored. They just ignored him. He was an enemy jungle, but they're like, just do what you want, man. We leave you alone. And obviously, like, he is getting taken by Team MYS. T2 finishing off the first goal of the game. Only 81 points, though. After finishing off a goal. So not too many. And now Team MOS though can maybe push for the second goal right here. They're looking for an invade, but they just get the Mammoth Swine evolution done. Make sure they finally have the Mammoth Swine for those team fights. Foxy, he's gonna try and score 40 points. Ejun are trying to defend, but can they do it now? 21 and 40 points going for MOS already. They're giving them a huge lead now. Super Saiyan, not level 9 yet. Blasto, is he jack -butting? He's gonna knock up three people. And they also just destroy the Glacier. And Trevenant also goes down. The MOS now with two KOs. They're gonna get a huge overcap as you right? 40 points going. Rune can't defend the goal. You know, Memoir is in a insane position to take the last match. Can T2 make a comeback cap and Reggie Steel as well being secured for the Malaysian team? Can we really see reverse sweep happening? The fight, I mean, the game is not long, even over. Venus are running in with ability assistance. But that's such a weird engage of a team fight. They're getting desperate now. They are getting desperate. That's such a weird Unite move. And now they're getting caught as well again. Can they do something? Rapid Spin comes through. Can they actually get Mamos This is such a close team fight, but no Venus will get sniped by the Psyshock Psybeam. And now Yemu is diving onto Hobachi. Hobachi is dead, half HP. Should be able to get away, but two more KOs for MOS right here. But they're dropping so low on HP. Can you snipe anything? It doesn't look like they can. The Moonlight just keeps them so healthy. They were so close of dying, but this, these Moonlight heals are so much for the special specs. That Cliff Hab is able to keep the team alive over and over and over again. Next one is Lecky in 20 seconds. And Yemu is on his way to level 13 now with his Blastoise. It's going to be so hard to deal with for T2. They do have Glacier at least. Glacier one of the better Pokemon to go for defenders. Double is going to Hill End, but uh, yeah, I mean, MOS is just playing safe now. They're staying together, staying inside this Moonlight healing, and they just don't go down. Make sure that no one splits up. Make sure no one does any mistakes. Espion is defending bot path, just in case a goal or a scoring is going to happen. But now MOS doesn't have a attacker with them on top path. I feel like Mammoth Swine should be the one defending bot, and Espion should be up here, if for anything. Because Espion would be much more useful than the Mammoth Swine. I know Espion is going to join the team on top path, knowing that T2 is as well here. Espion has joined MOS. Oh, nice. Double Botama is going to land off Super Saiyan into the pain split. Rebonk is dropping super low on HP. But Regilek is secured by the Water Spout damage. The water Spout damage able to secure it somehow. Rune level 11 only. Venus was still looking for better tens plus. And MOS can now move bot path for another Reggie that's going to spawn in just 12 seconds. Alright, Haruta is going to hit level 13. Half of these NDDs. So, game for sure not over yet. T2 can still win a team fight. And keep Japan in this tournament for the Asia Champions League. But it's looking grim. It is looking grim. Reggie Steel secured for MYS for an Espion and the Blast Toys. They're gonna be insane. And even more Moonlight healing, right? Remember, special tech increase means Moonlight also heals more. High Horse probably going in. And MYS is looking for the engage quite early on. They don't want T2 to maybe flip Rayquaza. Because they know they're in such a good position right now. You can see him as being very aggressive. Foxy running. Foxy is DCing. Foxy is DCing right now. We need a pause right now. We need a pause, please. This is the pause time. And boy, Foxy's... No. Foxy was lagging out for like 10 seconds there. There's no way. And now they don't pause? He... Oh my god, no. No, they don't pause. If they lose the game out of this. No way, he was running into the wall for like 5-6 seconds. And they don't pause the game right there. Oh man, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Because I think he's gone. I think he might be dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are we heading right in the Espion and Cliff Hable are just gone? They're just gone. Cliff Hable tried to help Espion who was CCing. And now both are gone. So it's gonna be a 3v5. Oh, this is so sad to watch. I this is oh and this is the game five ending like this. Can they maybe get Rayquaza at least? Let's see. 
Venus was actually dropping low HP. Yang is going to go for Rayquaza, and they might just get it. No, it goes over TT2. T2 is able to secure the Ray, but can they get rid of these shears this time around? They have to run towards the first goal. Still, they have to score right there. Ah, nah, man. Last is actually scored bot lane. T2 has not won yet. T2 has not won yet. T2 has not won. They have to score more points right now. Oof. Can T2... I mean, this is just... They have no shield. Do they have any shields left? Do they have any shields left? Or was the defense successful again? Full stop MOS. Can they defend Rayquaza twice in a row now? And they do it. They're going to try to stop these 100 scores from going in. And they might have to still win. And Wise might still be able to win this match. There's no shields left. No Rayquaza shields left on T2. And we have already one person down on the side of T2. Can MWA start to defend? Can they? But no, Yang goes down. Yang is going to fall. Cliff Hab is back now. Trying to keep the team alive. High house power comes through. But it's so difficult to kill this Venus right now. It's still 14. That's so much hit. But Supercell goes down. Supercell is down. Now it's a 3v3. Up on this take second tier goal. They try to just keep everyone alive with the Moonlight. The Moonlight keeps everyone so healthy. Blissey's dropping non HP. And Adrian is going down. And I think MYS is still going to win. Which I think is deserved in the end. Can they stop it? No. Cliff Ape is going to straight score. High Horse comes through. Can they stop Venusaur? They can't stop Venusaur. Oh my god. And MYS is still going to win. The Malaysian crowd goes crazy. And they're still able to defend Rayquaza twice in a row. Crazy. What a crazy reverse sweep. And uh, this is the most dramatic last game I have ever watched. That has to be the most dramatic one we have ever witnessed. Oh my. <laughs>